Hello, today I will talk about IPVA, Automatic Private IP Addressing. So I'm going to explain what is the use of this addressing space. So IPVA addresses start from the range one from the following range um, 169, 254, and then here 0, 0.0 up to 169, 254, let's say 255.255. This is the range. Now, how does it work? Basically, APPA is very simple. You have a computer connected to a network like this, PC connects to network, other computers and servers. And when using TCP IP protocol stack, every computer or node on the network needs to should have or must have an IP address. Computer without an IP address cannot establish any communication. So with TCP IP, IP address is a must. Now uh, there are three ways of assigning IP addresses to computers. So the first one is what we call a manual assignment. Man manual assignment or static assignment, where you go to your computer, assign it with an IP address, assign to it an IP address, subnet multiple, gateway, IP address of DNS server, and so on. But at least the basic, basically, if you want your computer to communicate with computers on the same LAN, you need to have at least an IP address and subnet mask. Uh, the second one, the second way of assigning IP address is dynamic assignment. Then dynamic assignment, which means that you rely on a DHCP server. So you should have a DHCP server available on your LAN or on a different LAN, but at least your computer will get an IP address and all the required parameters from that DHCP server. You might have one or two DHCP servers, but assume that for some reason DHCP server is not available or there is a problem it is shut down or something like this. So your computer does not have a static IP address, which is manual assigned to it. It cannot get an IP address from a DHCP through dynamic assignment. So the only way which is left is APIPA. APIPA, which means that the computer is going to assign an IP address to itself. So how this will happen? So the first thing here, the computer will, uh, in this situation, the computer is going to assign an IP address, which starts with which will start with 169.254, and then x, y. These two bytes, let's say x, y. x and y are randomly generated. This is random, randomly generated. Okay, so every computer connected to a network and which doesn't have a static IP address and cannot obtain IP address from a DHCP server, so it's going to assign to itself uh, an APIPA IP address which ranges from 169.254.00 up to 169.254.255.255 and remember these two bytes here X and Y are randomly generated by each computer of course let's take the following scenario now I have one PC here okay PC1 and I have another PC PC2 PC3 PC4. So these are PCs connected to the same LAN. So they are, they are forming one local area network. Let me just represent this. Uh, for some reason, these computers do not have static IP address, uh, did not get dynamic IP address. Maybe they are not configured for that, or the ACP server is not available. So the only way is, which is left is that each PC is going to assign IP address to itself. So what happens? PC1 is going to assign this IP address, 169.254, and then randomly generate X. X, let's say here, X, let's say it, it will be 10, and Y will be, let's say, 20. Same story, PC2 is going to generate automatically an IP address, 169.254, let's say 30, 40. I'm just using these integers like this, these values like this. And PC3 will generate 169, 254, uh, randomly generate X, let's say 35, 20, okay? And PC4 is going to generate automatically IP address 169, 169 254, uh, let's say 60, 73, something like this, okay? Now these computers have these IP addresses and they can communicate directly. So PC1 can communicate with PC2, with PC3, with PC4, and so on. So each PC can communicate with any other PC on the same LAN using this automatically uh, assigned IP address. 
So remember, X and Y are always assigned auto, uh, randomly. They are generated randomly. Now, the issue with APIPA is the following. The issue with APIPA is like this. If you have one LAN here, okay, I have one LAN, and this is another LAN. This is LAN 1, let's say, and this is LAN 2, LAN 2. And of course, if you want to establish connection between different LANs, you need the router. All right, so uh, this is our router. Now, assume that computer here has an AP IP address, which is, uh, we have two computers here. Now, this computer has the following AP IP address, 169.254.20.30. And we know that these two bytes are randomly generated randomly generated okay now on the other land we have another computer which was not able to which doesn't have a static ip address and was not able to obtain ip address from the dhcp server so what happened this computer also will go for uh, automatic uh, assignment of ip address and by chance as it happens it will get the same ip address because here x is randomly generated and, and it happens to be 20 y is randomly generated and it happens to be 30. now what happens these two computers have the same ip addresses okay so there is a likelihood that x and y even though random even if they are randomly generated they will have the same value that's why APPA ip address are not allowed to go through routers i mean if any computer has this has automatically assigned ip address to itself it will not be allowed to cross router to communicate with any other computer on different LANs. So a router will stop any source IP address or any any packet with IP address which is uh, statically, uh, which is automatically assigned. So APPA is not allowed to cross router. APPA is not allowed to cross router. So crossing router is not allowed here. Router will reject it due to the fact that since X and Y are randomly generated, okay, this is X and this is Y, they are randomly generated. So there is a likelihood that uh, two computers on different lands have this end up with the same IP address. This is a possibility. So that's why uh, any computers with a PIP IP address is not allowed to uh, send packet through a router, across a router to a different LAN. So the router will simply uh, stop it and will not allow it, will not allow something like this. And also, um, if you try to assign uh, IP address to your computer using APPA, uh, it will not uh, it will not work. For example, the, there are some issues. Now, since uh, let me just show you something else. I have this uh, this LAN. I have let's say PC one, and I I do the same uh, demo or example as before. PC three and pc4 okay pc3 and pc4 and these four pcs are connected through a lan let me just represent the bus topology a lan as a bus physical topology to make things easy now assuming that these pcs did not get any static ip address were not able to get a dynamic ip address from the hcp server due to the hcp server not being available disconnected or any other reason so now the third point is that the PCs can assign IP address to themselves. So each PC will assign uh, IP address from the range allocated to IP. Now, this computer here, PC1, is going to allocate IP address 169.254.10.15. Okay. Now, PC2 is going also to allocate an IP address 169.254.10. Dot 15 so each computer now needs to make sure that no other computer on the same land has the same IP address so this is a problem because even on the same land on the same land there is likelihood that two computers will assign uh, uh, the same IP address to will generate uh, the same IP address to their computer so they will generate the same IP address for example here randomly generate X so it's the value is 10 y the value of y is 15 and it happens that pc2 will do the same so it's going to generate value 10 for x and value 15 for y so this is a possibility where two computers on the same LAN are going to find themselves with the same ip address that's why uh, with, a, with a pipa or whenever computer not only with a pipa actually in general whenever computer uh, obtains an ip address 
So the first thing it will do, once this computer is going to, uh, will uh, obtain this IP address, the first thing it will do is going to check whether this IP address is uh, not used by another computer on the same LAN. Uh, the purpose is to detect IP conflict. So what PC1 will do is going to send a message. This is an ARP request, okay, ARP request. And this ARP request, it contains this IP address, okay. And of course, ARP request is broadcast. It will be broadcast to everybody. So ARP request will be received by PC2, PC3, and PC4. This is a gratuitous, a gratuitous ARP request, which contains the uh, IP address that PC1 assigned to itself. Now, if any one of these PCs will uh, have will, will have already assigned the same IP address, for example, PC2 has already assigned to itself the same IP address as the one which comes inside the ARP request, what happens? PC2 is going to reply by sending an ARP reply, and this ARP reply will be sent to PC1. This is an ARP reply. So what does this mean? It means that PC1 understand that another one is using the same IP address, so PC1 will go into the, another, another process uh, to compute X and Y randomly, generating different values helpfully. But each time computer will assign to itself an IP address, or obtain an IP address from the HTTP server, or automatically assign an IP address to itself, it needs to check whether somebody else is using the same IP address by using the gratuitous ARP request, where it will put the IP address that the PC intends to assign to itself or to acquire, and then sends this ARP request, which is broadcast. Now, any PC on the same line is going to receive this ARP request because it is broadcast, and if it happens that computer is using, is already assigned the same IP address, then it will send a reply, ARP reply, and this ARP reply will be received by the PC1. In this uh, example, PC1 understands that somebody else is using the same IP address. Now, if PC1 does not receive anything, it understands that nobody else is using the same IP address, so it is free now to commit and assign uh, the IP address, use it, and use it. This is the issue here. So, uh, we have seen the most important thing we have seen in this example about APIPA is that. Uh, EPIPA IP address has the following format, X and Y, so it will always start with 169, 254, and then two bytes which are uh, generated randomly, X and Y. There is a possibility where on the same LAN two PCs, there is a possibility on the same LAN where two PCs can obtain, might obtain the same IP address if X and Y are randomly generated, so there is a likelihood that two computers will generate the same X and the same Y, uh, so in this case uh, detecting IP conflict is uh, very, very important. So actually this applies to whenever you assign an IP address to your computer, but with APIPA is a very important step to check if somebody else is using the same IP address. Uh, this is for the same LAN. However, if you intend to use APIPA to communicate with uh, computers on different LANs through a router, this is not possible. The router will stop any router, any packet with uh, APIPA IP addressing since here on LAN 1, you can have this IP address, let's say we have seen in this example, same IP address can be obtained on the different LAN, so which means that two LANs have the same network address which different or the same IP address, so that's why APIPA is not allowed to cross router for communication, so you cannot use a, a automatically assigned IP address, APIPA, to communicate with another computer on a different LAN, so the router is going to stop it. So uh, to wrap up with this, uh, there are three ways uh, a computer will get an IP address. So the first one is a static IP address, and this is done by manual, manually assigning uh, IP address. So you go to your PC and you type an IP address, subnet mask, and etc. So the second way of assigning IP address to a PC is dynamic, is to uh, go through dynamic process where you will have a dynamic IP address. Now in this case, your PC needs to be configured as the DHCP client and uh, it should contact the DHCP server in order to obtain IP address. So there is a must that there is, uh, it's very important that the DHCP server exists. Otherwise, if the DHCP server does not exist, so the PC will go into this process of uh, getting an automatically assigned IP address, uh, automatically uh, assigned IP address to itself. And then uh, it should always start with this prefix 169 to 54. X, Y, where X and Y are assigned. Of course, uh, it is possible to disable APIPA, by the way. Actually, in PC, 
uh, if you want to play with the dynamic IP address and do some uh, tweaking of the parameters, etc. So it's always, it's okay, you can disable through the operating system, you can disable the automatic uh, assignment of IP address. Uh, if you want to emphasize more on studying the dynamic IP address, obtaining IP address through the ATP, but in case APPA is uh, available, there is no problem. Uh, this is the last, this is a solution of uh, the last resort. Okay, I hope this uh, video was uh, useful. Thank you for listening.